All right, we're on to example two, and we're going to do what's called a simulation. Now, a simulation is where we simulate a real-life event by assigning outcomes to an object such as a coin or, or dice. Okay, so to help illustrate this, we'll look at example two, and we've got a soccer team. So this is kind of like our real-life event, and this soccer team has a 10% chance of winning the match, a 50% chance of getting a draw, or a 40% chance of losing the match. And we're going to simulate the match, um, and it's suggested doing it by placing 10 cards in a hat. So one card for winning, to represent the 10%, five cards for a draw, because it's a 50% chance, and four cards for a loss, since it's a 40% chance of losing. And we're going to simulate 20 matches by performing the experiment 20 times. Now, because I'm on a computer and I can't really show you pulling things out of a hat, I'm going to do this a little differently. And you, you can do this as well. I'm going to assign the numbers from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we've got a 10% chance of winning, so we'll assign one of the numbers as a win. 50% chance of getting a draw. So we need five draws from this and a 40% chance of losing, so we need four to represent our losses. So what, what we've done is we've said, okay, if we get a one, that's a win, any number from two to six is a draw, and any number from seven to 10 is a loss. And this is how we're gonna do our simulation. All right, so how are we gonna get these numbers from one to 10? Well, on Google, there is a thing called a random number generator. And what it does is it will find it will generate a random number from 1 to 10 for you. So we'll start by generating it, and we get the number 6, which is a draw. Now I'm just going to get this out of the way. Um, so we've got a draw, and we'll put a little tally mark for a draw. Okay, I'll do another one. Generate, we've got the number 1 which is a win, so that's good. Our team got a win, even though it's only a 10% chance of happening, win. And let's keep going till we get one that's a loss. Two is a draw. Okay, um, it's a tally mark there. Uh, we'll do one more and then it'll move on whether it's a loss or not. Oh, we've had a win again. Wow, this is going really good. All right, I'm going to pause, I'm going to finish this experiment, and we'll, we'll come back. All right, so I've finished the simulation, and what you'll notice is we had two wins, five losses, and 13 draws. Okay, now, <clears throat> question A says, find the relative frequency of obtaining a win. Okay, now, in this experiment, we got a win only twice, and we... We did, conducted the experiment 20 times, so 2 out of 20, which is 1 over 10. Now, that's exactly what they predicted. They said a 10% chance of winning, so that's good. Question B says, find the relative frequency that you will win or lose. All right, now we had two wins and five losses, so there was seven altogether where you either won or lost out of 20. 